Sup, everybody. This is Carrick with ACG. Sad day. Way of the Hunter, which I did enjoy, despite it having a number of issues. It is a lower budget title. I'm going to have to change that rating currently to a wait, and here is why. Like any other game, good or bad, I usually do try to keep and touch base with them over time. Usually it's much farther afterwards, but I enjoyed a lot of what Way of the Hunter actually offered. So I jumped in this weekend and continued to play. And then something happened I really can't remember ever happening before. And that's that about another eight hours in jumping between systems and playing, all of a sudden the wind sample stuck. Now I talked about the wind sample in the review sounding a little bit off, but here it's stuck wide open, like two wind samples over the top of each other. And I just couldn't get it to stop playing. So I transferred to a different location. Same thing. I went to sleep at a campfire. Same thing. Went to sleep in the bed. Same thing. And I decided I'm going to go to a different reserve. Same thing. And it crept up on me that this might actually be in the save game. So I rebooted the system, still there. Went back and looked to make sure my drivers hadn't changed. Nothing had. Then I decided, let's try it again and just start a different game. And it wasn't there. So that means that is stuck into somehow my save game. So I informed the devs through my contact uh, for the review codes, and I'm retracting the buy rating for now just to await. And while I haven't got time in on the console versions, I did see other reviewers mention some odd issues with sound in the console side. So this is something that probably can creep up over time. It just depends. Maybe it's because a PC machine has more memory that it took longer for this to happen. I don't know. This is a good example that even 40 plus hours into a game, a bug like this can creep up and I never expected it. But like Elden Ring's faded day zero patch, sometimes things just occur. So even at a slightly discounted price right now, I can't bear to play it with that overlap of sound and those sound issues. So starting a new game, like I said, does make it go away, but I can't guarantee that that will work for you. So until the devs fix that and go into it, and I'm sure they're gonna patch some of the other issues that they have. I'm just gonna say a wait for this one because that's bad enough and it infects the sound, which is the main thing. With the game's inconsistent frame rate and occasional binocular issues, you know, those things are bothersome. But like I said, when it's based on sound and that kind of stuff happens, you just got to pull the plug on it. And I think there's all kinds of ways to handle this. We ran into it with Elden Ring when that game had this issue, and we run into it all the time when games actually get better. If you get a chance to go back and play it, you can always do another video or you can do an addendum. I didn't want to just do an addendum message because I thought it was important enough that people see this, especially because the game's not out yet, and maybe just sit back and wait and see if some of those bugs are fixed. And because I didn't get some of the bugs other people got, maybe they're not getting this one, but it was bad enough for me that I wanted to point it out to you guys. I'll definitely give you a heads up because... I'm probably going to continue to try playing this game once every week or so just to see if some of these issues with the sound are fixed. And if they are, I'll pop it off and tell you guys. But shit happens. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your week.